Hi, I'm Arlene and I'm back again with another video. Today I'm going to be doing my January empties video. So hello and welcome to everyone. I'm so glad you're here with me. I appreciate you all. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know if you're doing any empties or if you don't do videos, if you're keeping track of them. So let's get started. Okay, so my bag is kind of imp heavy. It busted, but I have another one. So <laughs> that's my thumbnail. All right, I have my other trash bag to put the stuff in to get it out of here. Okay, I actually did pretty well with guess what? lotions or creams we're going to start with them so what i've been doing them i'm doing i've been using them in the shower because a lot of these as you can see i put water in them to get all the stuff out but a lot of these were really um yellow and so not they did they smelled great nothing was wrong with them they were just bright yellow so i went through fairy tale this is pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, warm amber. And I believe all of the ones that I went through is in my project, Use It Up. So, first one, fairy tale. Oh, shoot, this is the wrong bag. Because these I will be keeping for end of the year. End of the season also. Okay, so I went through Midnight Amber Glow. And like I told you, that my a lot of them are twisted up, beat up, because I put water in them, shake them, squeeze them out. So this is Smooth Amber Caramel Latte Vanilla Bourbon. Love this scent. Beautiful, creamy, uh, coffee-type scent. Love it. I also love Fairy Tale. Beautiful creamy orange scent to me. Um, this one is Christmas cookies. This has notes of creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, caramel woods. Love this, really enjoyed it. Pretty sweet almond cookie fragrance. Okay, let me try to get through some of the... Okay, I'm going to do these candles because they're heavy. So, I warmed in the stars. Love this scent. It projected so good. Love it, love it, love it. In the stars has notes of bergamot champagne, night blooming, water lily, Pink salted amber. Beautiful. So I can't tell you about the burn, burn experience. I only can tell you about the candle warming experience. Twisted peppermint. This was in my living room. This was nice for during December and into January. Cool peppermint. Sugar snow. Fresh balsam. Vanilla buttercream hint of musk enjoyed that this is marshmallow fireside i enjoyed this scent also and it was blended with the peppermint so toasted marshmallow smoldering woods fire roasted vanilla crystallized amber so i have two more dang I have two warmers going in my living room. Okay, so at one point, this was on the warmer. This is Midnight Amber Glow. Because it was in my living room, to me, it wasn't giving off a good scent. But it was, I don't know what, it, it was layered with one of these other fragrances. But that's Midnight Amber Glow. 
I read the notes off the cream. So I have peppermint hot chocolate. I could smell this, but it was in the living room also with, I think these were with Fireside, the Fireside scent. I could smell a bit of this one still. This is really nice. I remember burning this last year and I really enjoyed it. other stuff falling out the package and this one want to be all the way stuck okay so dark kiss shower gel enjoyed this this is black raspberry burgundy rose bergamot incense dark vanilla bean plum musk dark kiss is a beautiful scent it's on the perfumey side and then I found some things that I've had from years ago because I cleaned out my linen closet that had bags of old stuff in there. This is Delicate Petals. This is a perfume from um, Victoria's Secret. Used to be able to get these in this size. I can't remember if it was like a gift bag or if I was able to buy it like this by itself. But I remember having multiples of these different fragrances. So Delicate Rose was one. Del Delicate Petals was one of the fragrances that I once liked. It smelled. When I smelled it before, it was like. Mm, yeah, it smells off. Yeah. Okay. So then I had this one. This was when they had... Let me see if I can read this. It's the Tutti Dolce... La Costa. I think that's what I'm reading. I don't know. It's real dusty, dirty. But maybe you can figure it out. But this was one of the lines they used to have in Bath and Body Works years ago. It was one of their more expensive lines. And they had one was like a lemon. One was a, uh, a caramel. One was a chocolate. Um, I think I really liked the lemon one. But then after I had bought the different creams, I ended up liking all of them. The ones I just mentioned, the caramel and the chocolate. The chocolate used to get so many compliments. But, yeah, found that. Oh, but can I read the bottle? Fant oh, this was a chocolate one. Fantasia D. Chocolat. <laughs> okay so that's that uh, I went through a honey ginger scrub I went through this exfoliating jelly cleanser from um, curl mix fresh this was radiant rose oh so the ginger the honey ginger scrub is a sugar scrub and this one was very emollient it didn't have any soap in it so it was very oily i enjoyed that made my skin feel really nice and smooth so then i went through this um allocate naturals lemongrass styling mousse use it on this hair now I only had about this much hair, but it used to shrink down to that. But I had all kinds of hair products. So that was one that's left over that I could use on this. Why is my sock in here? <laughs> okay, so I used up 
this Burst um, Instant Resurfacing Mask. I did like it, but it took me a while to use it. I didn't use it like every week, so I can't tell you. I liked it, but I can't tell you the real value of it. But I liked it. I will buy it again. I used up some Impress Press-On Falsies. These are the ones that are pre-glued and you put them on under your lash. So that's a package of these. These were the natural. I also used up some Mago Sif. Mago 7 Cleanse. This is good for your digestive, help you go, digestive system, help you go to the bathroom. And I like these. I already have, I think, like two backups. I had to stop them from sending it to me. I also used up this Fresh Rainfall Sun Drenched Linen. Did I like this? I think I liked it. It doesn't matter. If I can get it for like $2, I'm going to buy it. So there's that. I'm not that picky with the hand soaps. I also used up this C iodine tablets. I was told that my iodine was low, so I do take iodine tablets. And I used up this honey pot bergamot rose panty spray i actually i think i used this up a while ago because i have not been using it or unless it leaked out it's empty anyway i used uh this madagascar madagascar centella tea tricka relief amapole it was a very thick cream. I did like it. So this would be possibly something that I tried from um, that brand. The brand is Skin1004. If you watched one of my other videos, you'll see or hear me talking about this brand. The Amapole that I bought from it. I also use this clarifying toner. Don't remember what that was like, but I remember the cream was very, very thick. And I like that. Okay, so what have I used? I used up this Sunrise Woods that I did not get a really good um, throw from it. I was disappointed in this one. It is an enhanced fragrance. Um, this is creamy sandalwood, sweet berries, and cozy cashmere. So it was just all right. I don't have any plans on buying any more um, wallflowers. I'm just going to use up the ones I have because for me, the... Candle warmers are doing a better job. So, there is that. But would I buy those again? No. This is the deodorant that I use it's by Avon. I don't even know if I can get this anymore, but I have a whole bunch of them. So, I'll be using them till they're gone. This is on duty 24 hours. I, I used to buy them in bulk. So, I have plenty of them. So, that's the deodorant I use. And I don't, it takes me a long time to get through deodorant because I was trying not to use deodorant, but I exercise too frequently and sweat too much to not be using deodorant. So when I use it, it's just like one swipe. I don't really go in. I just do one swipe and it works. So I have a few samples in here that I used up. I used up the commodity milk this is a nice fragrance um i did not put it on my list to get but i did enjoy it it was just um creamy creamy sweet that's what i got out of that but i thought it was nice 
and this entice i remember thinking it was nice but not memorable this is burberry her love that this is the elixir i have that already so i used them because they were in my purse my bag for work and i was just like i gotta get through these um trials samples so a lot of times i would spray them at the ending of my shift oh these are in the thing now so i'll talk about that next time okay a couple things fell out i finally got through one of my room sprays this one is from yankee candle this is a concentrated room spray it is color me happy it was nice and sweet i enjoyed that that takes me forever to get through and this is ashaganda ashaganda it was de-stress with ginseng it says it supports stress relief and mental clarity I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I used them. I didn't use them consistently, so I can't tell you. It took me a while to get through them, but who knows? Okay, and I used up one spray. The Christmas cookie spray, which I already told you the notes. This is good. If you have it, pull it out now is the time it's sweet and creamy and beautiful it smells so good to me so i enjoyed christmas cookies that is it for my empties i hope you enjoyed this and i will see you on next month's empties remember to like share subscribe goodbye <laughs>